Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for being here for another painting. I am still really enjoying the pearl paints. Um, they're the uh, interference pearlescent colors uh, by Amsterdam and they look white in the jar, but they turn a color when they are on a dark base. Um, I hope you're not tired of them yet because I have quite a few more ideas that I'm gonna play around with. I loved the one that I puddled the paints and wrecked through it. I wanna do another wrecked ring pour with the fine tool. And then um, for this one, I'm gonna do it as a straight pour because I've really been liking the effect that the straight pour has as well. So this one's gonna be a straight pour. Look out for the wrecked ring pour one. I do have the yellow and I do have pearl white mixed up, but I was afraid to use it in this one with all these colors. So that will be another one as well. Uh, you know, I have so many, once I kind of get on something, I have so many ideas running through my head that I wanna get them all out. So I guess this has become like a pearl paint series, but I hope that you're liking it. Let's paint. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I am gonna start with just the tiniest bit of black in the bottom. I'm gonna layer the cup in front of you because I, I really thought about how I want these colors to layer. So I'm gonna start, I'm not gonna start with the yellow because the yellow and the black could mix to a little bit of a green color and I, I already have a green. I think I'm gonna start with the violet. It's either the violet or the blue. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna start with the violet. I had already thought about this and had my whole plan. <laughs> and then I almost changed it just now. <laughs> but I didn't, I'm sticking with it. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, next I decided to do the red. And I'm layering a little bit of black in between each of these just so that I can make sure, oh, I saw a lump, that they show up well. And the end is always such a fun surprise. And I kept these in order. So green. Last little bit of the black, and I guess the yellow is gonna go next to just a little bit more black. And the rest of the black that I have, I'm gonna use it as the puddle for the base. I wonder, I wonder if I should have started with yellow. Because the yellow, these are such thick, chunky layers that the yellow is going to be what pours out kind of close to the center. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. All right. One more little bit of black. I'm going to pour it right out of here. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, just a little bit more of the yellow. This is why I layer my cup in front of you because at the end, everybody's like, how did you layer that? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to pour probably the rest of this black down here. Give that a good torch. And now I'm gonna go for it, right in the center. The lines of this cup are running this way, so I'm gonna pour it out that way and see if I can get the layers to start. And again, I'm not gonna know what this actually looks like until it dries. I 
don't know, I feel like maybe the black mixed with the color a little bit. Gosh, that last little bit. Okay, now I would be happy with this if this was just a black and white straight pour at this point because it's really, really pretty, the design. But I know that these colors are gonna come out really, really pretty. And my next one, I'm going to wreck the ring pour. And the next one, I'm gonna do a ring pour. I've been doing like ring pours and then puddles on the outside, but I'm gonna put the puddles on top of the ring pour and then wreck through it. So you'll have some lines from the ring pour and some lines from wrecking the puddles. I'm telling you, I have a ton of ideas for these. All right, let's go. I hope I have enough paint. Pretty sure I do, but I'm just gonna cover each corner first. Okay, I've got all my corners. I'm just gonna keep going off that side. Ooh, that's purple over there. Ooh, I've got one little. That was messing up my design there. We'll see how that stretches out. Okay, I wasn't watching. All right. Now I'm gonna go down this way and I feel like this last little part, I'm gonna try to stretch it pretty far off and I think I'm gonna do this off center kind of get rid of some of those other pieces. Get it right down there first. And then stretch it back out. Yes. And I've been liking them off center. So I think I might leave it like that. Now, I think what I said is true. My yellow is gonna be gone. And I ended up with one little piece right here, but I think I'm just gonna make a curly cue out of it. And I think I'm gonna make a curly Q out of this right here too. I don't see any other parts I wanna make curly cues out of, just those two, yeah. And I drew it right there. I dripped, ah! I wonder if I can touch my finger to it. And kind of bring back the color. Nope. This part is gonna get a curly cue as well. <laughs> okay. It's like uh, where's Waldo? Is that what it is that what it's called? Like you gotta find the curly cue in my painting. I should do a series like that. <laughs> um, all right, I'm done. I can definitely see there's gonna be some green. I see the blue, I see the purple. I think that's red and maybe there's a little bit of yellow on the corner. I wonder how this is gonna come out with layering that black every single time. I don't know if these colors are gonna show up that much. 
I don't know if any of these spots, I, I don't know. I don't know how this one's gonna try. <laughs> but I am here for it. Let's find out. All right, I'll take you in for the wet result, which almost always looks nothing like the dry result of these, but let me show you. All right, so you can already see the color starting to pop through. You've got little bits of green. I think that may be yellow, which will end up looking like a antique gold. And I think that may be a little bit of yellow. Coming around, you obviously see the purple. That is gonna be red, I'm pretty sure. And I love that black center there with those tiny little bits popping through, almost like, like stars or a galaxy type feel. And there's my curly Q mess ups. <laughs> But there you go. We're gonna see how this one dries, I'm interested. All right, be right back. So this one, until it gets in the light, is super dark. I'm gonna try to see, it's actually showing up better on camera than it does in real life. So the things that I like and the things that I don't like. I don't like that the black layers muted it so much. It's still super cool when the light hits it, but overall, it's just really, really dark. I love the center, and I love that dark black part down there, but just overall, it's, it's too dark for me. So in the next one, I'm going to try to layer less black and see how that works. All right, thanks for watching all these crazy experiments. <laughs> Happy painting. Bye.